I did find, I did get this for, oh my god, I did get this for um, uh, Black oh, Friday. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I got the Oculus Quest 2, the VR. Dude, <laughs> it's crazy. I don't, I cannot believe that people can own this in their homes. Like, I cannot That's, believe that you insane. can have this in your house. Um, it, it's so compact now. I remember when, like, my freshman year at SCAD, I went to Ad Club. Like, for one of, yeah. like, the last days, like, Emily yeah. invited me. And we were in the VR room in Key Hall. And the yep. VR gear, it's so outdated now. Like, it had the wires, like, poking out the back of the skull. And it was so yes. big and bulky. And I look at them now, I'm like, they're so small and light. Like, what the heck? Yeah, and this one doesn't even require a PC. So, this is built in. I don't need a powerful PC. So, they got rid of two... Um, Two of the biggest pain points of VR. One was the price point. So I paid 300 bucks for it. 300 bucks is like half of what it used to be. And then second problem was not only did you have to pay a lot for the gear, but you also had to pay for a super performant computer that could give you the graphics mm -hmm. that were good enough. And so what they did was they took that computing and put it within the headset. So it's an all-in-one so headset. You don't require... Yeah. And it's it has 64 gigabyte of, of built-in memory. So, I mean, storage, so you can store it. But there is one downside to it, which is it's a it's a Facebook product, right? Mm -hmm. In order for you to use it, you have to log in with a Facebook account. Ew. Yeah, everyone says the same thing, ew, <laughs> when, when I tell them. Like, everyone's disgusted by it because all, for the obvious fucking reasons, you don't want Facebook to know what kind of eye, <laughs> beha like how your eyes work. They, this Facebook has a doesn't camera. need to know how much time I'm spending with my virtual boyfriend, okay? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> they don't need to know the kind of shit you're doing. And also, <laughs> whenever you start a session, you map out, like, you know, the safe area in your house. And they have it has cameras, you know, so you can see through the cameras and mark your safe space. Well, how about I don't want, you know, them to have a video of my fucking living room every single time I use this thing, you know? <laughs> and there's a lot of questions of, like, okay, how much data are you willing to give Facebook? But... Mm -hmm. Um, there's ways you can protect your identity from other people, but not from Facebook. Like whenever you go on VR chat or another, I don't know on VR chat, but if you go on other places, you can edit your voice so you can sound like deeper, you know, so you can conceal your identity. Mm -hmm. So it seems like everyone but Facebook is not invasive within the VR world, but, um, it's super weird. Like you can get like banned for like groping people. Like you, it's like almost a reality. You're not allowed to like. Well, not grow up. You, if you go on just like this and just aim at somebody, they'll not tell you shit. But if you go at somebody, I'm like, hey, I'm touching your titties, but you can get banned. Mm -hmm. And if you get banned, you get banned from the Facebook account. It means your uh, VR system is completely it, useless. It doesn't work. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So it's not like you can start it with a new Facebook account. They will disable your VR for two weeks if you got like swearing or doing stuff in like virtual. Yeah. Let me tell you. Have you tried like virtual reality chat? No, but I've watched, like, I don't know how many videos about it. Because it's so yeah. intriguing to me. It's so weird. It is. I was, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. First day I entered VR chat, they're like, you know, how how comfortable are you? I'm like, fuck it. Give me the whole experience. I want to hear everyone. Leave my mic on. And I was like, I almost had, like, social social anxiety getting into it. Like, I, I'm not, I don't have social anxiety outside. I can go into anywhere and talk to anybody. I don't care. Very extroverted, yeah. <laughs> when I was in there, I was like, I felt like an outsider because I was new. I didn't know how to fucking move around the world. I barely, I was like fucking trying to control my, I was like trying to get a better skin. I was a fucking angry bird for some reason. And I, could, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, look, there's an angry bird. And then they expect you to like talk. And I'm like, what if I'm not the mood to talk right now? And I was like, then I talked to a bunch of people and then this dude started introducing me to his family. He's like, this is my son. This is my daughter. And they're all playing VR from the home. I'm like, what? fuck, it's really cool. You know, you get to meet people like, <laughs> and he gave me a bunch of ideas, especially for this podcast. But it was like, oh my God, like how long are you guys spending here? Like, well, like three, four hours. There's like hours? games. Like, yeah. I don't know how it's possible. After one hour, I get a fucking headache anyways. Yeah. After one hour, my eyes are like beaming. They're like, oh my God, please get this off of me. I cannot spend more than an hour in this thing. But I definitely see the craze behind it. It's crazy. Like you put it on and you're like in your home base in fucking Japan. And then you have these screens and you choose what entertainment you want. You choose YouTube. It looks like you're in a cinema. 
and there's this big screen and you're watching um whatever you want on a big screen like you're in a like in a cinema you have like this national geographic experiences you get to go to antarctica margaret was fucking rowing in the middle of the living room on the carpet yesterday <laughs> going around glaciers it's crazy you know no i wanted to get it just to see how crazy it would be but i'm honestly very intrigued i'm i'm, I'm excited and i'm also not excited because um it's fucking scary <laughs> it's yeah. very scary to have this in your home but yeah <laughs> I remember when it first, like, Oculus really first came out and Slenderman and, like, Slenderman adjacent oh games were, like, God. the big thing to play on an Oculus. So, like, seeing that, I'm like, no, Thank there were monsters in there. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. That's what I got to play. I got to find a way to play Slenderman. Hell yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I remember playing it. I'm, like, seeing gamers on YouTube to, testing, like, the first beta versions of the Rift. And... Uh, they were trying it on, like getting like they couldn't play it. You know, they had to like take it out of their eyes. You like, know, because it was, yeah. It off. <laughs> or amnesia, playing all these like oh. horror games. Yeah. So I I grew up with that, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. We did. We we have a game that's like a roller coaster game. That's a a haunted house, and I fucking bought all of the roller coasters, like all of the themes. So we have like 15 experiences of like terror castles. So you basically like we sit on a chair. And then me or Margaret would be like shaking the chair as we're going with the um, roller coaster. And so it feels like you're an actual roller coaster and then stuff jumps at you. And it's for real scary, like for like jump scares that throw you off your chair. Jeez. Yeah. And, and I'm like, wow, fuck. For $5.99, you can feel like there's boulders thrown at you when you're in a roller coaster. You know, I'm like, how weird is the human race? You know, <laughs> you're like, I'm going to pay to have this reality in in my eyes but yeah it, it it's um i wanted to get it because if you cannot beat him join him like i don't think we can beat <laughs> technology so I, I might as well get familiar with it you know not fall behind not be one of those old people that uh don't know what latest technology is like mm -hmm. but yeah i was thinking i have a cool idea and, and I, I don't want to say much about it but i want to interview someone in the vr chat like i want to have like a one-on-one -on -one with them That'd be so fun yeah i was thinking about it i, I want to find someone that has a set headset you know i was thinking get another headset and send it to people but still 300 bucks I, i'm i don't have that kind of money laying around and i just gotta find someone that's willing to to do it and that's also like you know knows how to work vr sit down in a world and have you watched midnight gospel no so it's basically a half podcast, half like show on Netflix. And it is by it's made by Duncan Trussell, this really cool dude. He talks about a lot of cool stuff. You're gonna love it. He's like super nice dude. And all of this all of these are they make they basically make like a scripted podcast and then they made a completely animated version of that. And they created a world where this dude um has a multi world um computer and he just presses which world he wants to go into gets teleported over there and has like an intergalactical or an intercosmical podcast so he goes all around the universe you know to all of the dimensions and all the realities you know and he visits <laughs> all of these different versions of the earth um in some of the versions like there's a zombie apocalypse in some of them uh everyone's like horny and some of them like it's an eternal prison like it's super cool <laughs> and at the same time they have like super interesting conversations about life death uh spiritual stuff like um uh, ego it's super super interesting what i want to do is something similar but in vr chat like find some sort of activity a world that has you know because there's different worlds that you can play games mm -hmm. into find something cool uh and find a way to kind of make it private and while we're playing that game, you know, also have this conversation. You know? So we could be like killing zombies or whatever. And we could be talking about, fuck it, whatever, like uh, about uh, the latest trend in marketing or, you know, something like that, you know, <laughs> something maybe more more about life. But I would love to do something like that uh, with, with someone in the future. But Hell yeah. I think yeah. definitely like figure that out because that would be really cool. All right. 